hey what's up guys this is joseph take care in this video i'm gonna teach you how you can buy console account by yourself of course you know once your admob account is approved and you get an app the app will be developed by linking some ad units from your admob account to the app and for you to upload the app on play store and once you upload the app on play store once the app is uploaded on play store you are going to go to set up your app as test that will help you to secure your app very well to avoid us limits and others on play store so um, in this video i'm going to skip to now you can uh, now you can open google play store account so if you go to chrome now so just type google play console on your chrome google play console on your chrome so i'll type it the first ad that comes out so once you see the first ad that comes out make sure it's the first ad that, that comes out that you're that you are looking at so click on it you can see it here google play console find success with google play see what attracts your audience learn how to how, how users find and engage with store listing find out how google play console feature can help you engage and retain your users analyze app performance reply to users reviews play console kpi app retention strategies manage reviews and rating acquisition reports you get me so these are some things you are you can do on the play console like if people comment on your app on play so you can reply them if people if people uh, if people are uh, you you can know audience that are using your app through that you can know how many people are using your app in nigeria you can know how many people are using your app in india you can know how many people are using your app in all over the world through google play console so this is why you need the google play console to monitor your app to know where your app is going so click on the first ad that come out So it will carry you to a mini site. So you just click on it. You see something like just scroll down from the top. You can see here. Scroll down to Google Play Console. Go to Play Console. So click on Go to Play Console. You'll be asked to verify your phone number again. You'll be asked to verify of, uh, your email. Sorry. You have to verify your email. So this will be done now. The request for the password. So, I guess I have the password there. Alright, the password is not here, so let me just type it. So I proceed. So create a new developer account. Of course, just that someone have sent me a request before. That is why you are seeing this joy app. Say. So someone has sent me a console request before. For me to open console account for the person so but normally if you want to open console account once you once you verify your email it will carry you to create a new developer account that has to carry it to direct and this is the react for two-step verification you can see the to create developer account turn on two-step verification on your mobile phone so you have to turn it on So you might have to make this thing more sharp. So you click on get started now. So I want to be fast now. So you have to input the password again. So 
all right so we have put the password now so you click on continue so you'll be seeing the next thing to do now next thing online after you put your password so they, they told me where i can get this a device that is connected with my email this a device that is connected with my email so i can get an location from those device so you can continue you can choose send text message or phone number but it's not the phone number that i'm, I'm gonna use so um you can use other option there's a lot of option here for you to receive um, your code or to verify the the two-step verification so you can click on another backup so this is another backup that they will tell you to copy all this thing copy it and they will request for one you get me you just to copy everything and they will only request for one so let me copy You can click on download to also download it so you can also do that click on download to download anyone that you want to download so i've copied it and i've click on download of course it's already downloaded so let me go back to where we are so we are done with this click on next next so turn on now So of course this stuff is already turned on. It's already turned on now. Can you load this place? You can see now. I've already turned on the the two-step verification here. Um so I came back to the play console to, to create a developer account. Please, some people are making mistake in this creating developer accounts. Some people do choose um creating for an organization. You are creating it for yourself, so it's supposed to be yourself. Don't choose organization because if you choose organization, they will request for something like your company verification number, your company um, certificate, which of course you can't bring out, or they will ask for your company CAC certificate, which of course you cannot bring out. So you just have to, what you have to do here is that click for yourself and get started. So they will request for a developer name. The developer name is always the name that we show on on Play Store. You get me on Play Store that pe the name that will appear to people on Play Store. So you can just choose like let me just choose Joseph Tech. Joseph Tech. So contact name should be your name. Should be your name. Okay, I've already filled it. My email says J seven three nine five five at gmail.com that is my own gmail so you can verify it but it's not really compulsory so you can con con continue with your country choose your country so after that you can put phone number make sure the phone number is um can carry your country code that is plus two three four eight one five one five one seven nine one three so you can verify the phone number also and they will ask you do you have a website so if you do not have a website um, it's better you click on no you do not have a website so they will recommend you to put any of your url like your facebook url or any url yes me so this is what we put here if you don't want to verify but it's not compulsory you put it here it's not compulsory you put it there so we can continue by accepting the terms and condition so they will tell you to create an account you need to pay one of payment of 25 dollars for registration fee so and you have to ask to verify your account once you make payments and if you can't verify your identity this registration fee won't be refunded so you make sure you have all the credentials that is the other voters card national id 
the main national ID or driver license or international passport. These are the code or these are the card that you, you can use that to verify your console account. So they are telling us that it's an error here. Oh, I did not fail all this stuff. And we have to verify the email according to what I'm seeing here now. So let me just fill this stuff like this. So you have to verify email. Okay, they will send this it code to the email. You have to receive it and forward it back. So let me check if I have received it. Okay, now I have received the code, which is. 757-620 Verify So the email is verified and the phone number Let me verify the phone number also Oh, let me change the phone number because of some. So the phone number you can change. Let me change it to no one thirty two thirty three. Okay, I've received the code. Now I can accept a great an account. Uh, some errors again. So you have to see come back to know the error. Okay, they say this developer name has been taken on Play Store. So you have to look for a name that is unique that you can use. So you can just write this save to save app. Let's see if somebody yes is not taking this. This is a developer name, so you can put anything there. Make sure the name is unique because through that name, also the people can also browse for your app through the name. So, depending on the type of name that you use, that you also generate some download, some organic download for you. So, these are what you need to know about console. So, I'm moving to the next, next level, which is to pay. You can see here now developer accounts manage to pay so you have to add your credit card or debit card of course if you are from, from nigeria i always advise you not to uh i always advise to open dollar dollar accounts because nigeria have already put limits on on card do you get me so you can't buy it with your normal mastercard or visa card because the limit on card now is twenty dollars. So and this account is twenty five dollars. You get me. So that's why I said that. And so once you make payment here, click on add uh, credit or debit card. Once you add it and it's successful and you make payment, immediately you make payment. If you log into the console account, you will seek. You will be uh, asked to upload your identity for verification. So once I don't. Uh, operating the identity for verification, you are good to go to start and upload the app by yourself and you are good to go. So that's just it. So I guess with this video you can easily learn on how you can uh, on how you can buy play console accounts. So in my next video I will try and um create a video on how you can upload your apps on Play Store. How you can upload your app or game on Play Store. So this is also a few guys so have a nice day uh, and please don't forget to like and subscribe on this channel thanks